the first time I heard stand-up comedy was when I was, I think I was like 11 or 12 and I was born in Boston, but we lived in Seattle for a chunk of my childhood, like okay. just outside Seattle. And we moved back to the East coast. We drove, it was five kids oh, at the shit. time, five boys, a cat and my parents in a fucking <laughs> full stocked up van. Um, insane. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, my brother fucking threw up the first night of the trip in the car, just yes. ruined the rest of the yeah, perfect <laughs> throw up smell from the car for the next six and a half days. Um, <laughs> don't go to a buffet the first night of a week long road trip. If I'm going to give anybody advice, <laughs> save it for days, save it for advice. day six. Yeah. Right. That, that, that's uh, a celebratory dinner. Yeah. If you're going to get the shits the on the highway, started dinner, do yeah. it close to home. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my dad had bought all these uh, Comedy Central presents and, and all these comedy albums for us to listen to. Because this is, you know, okay. pre-podcast. This was like 2003 or four or something yeah, yeah, like that. You have them on it was the all little... CDs. It was just all fucking books of CDs. Yeah. So we just went and listened to everybody, everybody that, that had an album out at that time. And um, my favorite at that time was Brian Regan. And he's a guy that I still watch. Love Brian Regan. He Amazing. Uh, clean comic. Which I, you don't even realize at the time until someone tells you it. It's just, right. he's, so, he's so funny. You don't... He he doesn't need to. We, swear. we grew. I was a. We were extremely fundamentalist Christian growing up. So yeah. like, it was very rare when a comedian made it through sure. the like the door the to be of, right exactly yeah, yeah. to be able to listen to them. Right. And he was he was he was one of them. Yeah. And he was the person that probably was probably was like the first one where I was like, oh, that's that's just a funny thing. Well, there's just a guy that's standing on stage and like yeah. he says funny things. Like that's interesting. Yeah. And you, uh, for me, I'm like, oh, he's just coming up with this as he's going. Like you don't even yeah. really know how comedy works. Right, right, like, exactly. This guy's a genius. He's just <laughs> saying, he's just talking. You don't realize it's an act that's been worked right. out, you know, a thousand times on the road. And Was on it that first album places. that he did? The yeah, the Brian Regan School. With the, yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, <laughs> you the, too. The moose. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. moose <laughs> and the, the snow cones at the Saw baseball. Purple, grape, or cherry. <laughs> They're both favorites. Yeah. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Easy That's such out. A, yeah. It's <laughs> such a great. It's a, great uh, one of the best comedy albums of all time. I did um, actually my senior year of high school, we had this thing called fine arts and it was like a bunch of schools would come in and there was a big, like uh, you know, arts competition, or whatever. And there was yeah. a bunch of different categories. And one of them was humorous interpretation. And I, and I did a Brian Regan bit. Oh, amazing. Um, um I, I don't think it was from that one. I think it was from the I Walked in the Moon special okay. um, where he talks about the the doctor's office. Oh, the then, emergency room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not room. having a valet yeah, yeah, yeah. at the emergency room. The, the biggest, biggest oversight? oversight in our solar system. <laughs> yeah. So funny, man. He was He's a real like wordsmith. He knows how to just say yeah. the exact right he word. Oh, and the man. emphasis that he does. Yeah, oh, amazing. Yeah, he's yeah, so good. So good. But I, did, I, won, I won first place on that. So. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was Brian Regan, so I can take literally zero credit. A hundred percent. Yeah. You could, and you could have taken any of his bits and it <laughs> yeah. probably would have worked. Right. Um, yeah, no, he was one that like, I, I watched any special he came out with after that. I was, yeah. uh, Jim Gaffigan was another guy. Yeah. Uh, and then Dane, Dane Cook was like, mm. I mean, that guy was like the most quoted comic in my high school. It was like, he was yeah. so big. And I think he was so many people's like gateway into comedy. He mm -hmm. reached mm -hmm. such an audience of people that never heard of, or, or just never cared for stand up. He, he comedy. pulled like movie goers yeah. into comedy. Yeah. And with, just like hot chicks that did right. that only cared about fucking punk bands or whatever. Right. And now they see him on MySpace and he's this cool guy. And it, yeah, I think, I think in a way he's responsible for this many people caring about comedy. Cause I'm yeah. sure you could say anybody would have done it at some point, but he was at that pivotal moment of getting into social media right. and reaching right. all these people. And all these people now have kids and comedy is just mm -hmm. a part of their lives. And now, and now yeah, the arena tours so that he would like, like yeah. there's just nobody was doing that. He was the I first think. guy since dice, the first yeah. guy in like right. 20 years to, to do an arena tour. It's, right. it's just wild. And now you have like 10 guys doing it yeah. uh, and yeah. podcasts doing it and stuff. Right. It's, it's the comedy is so big now that like, it, it's amazing to kind of see how it's evolved and, and how it's just stayed relevant. There's so many, you think about like jazz was like the biggest thing in music. And then it kind of gets folded over into a different thing. And sure, you could say that sure. with different genres of comedy, but the fact that comedy has stayed so prominent in our, our, our culture, I think says yeah. a lot about, uh, just what we like to consume as people and just kind of how people are feeling. People are always looking for something to escape the world or something yes. to laugh at a new perspective, a way to just kind of see the light for a moment.